All right, guys, welcome back to the farm. Here we are in front of the shed, in front of our day's work. About a thousand bales were made today. Um, the shed is full. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to try to fit any more in here. Maybe in a pinch. Uh, we will do some hay sales right directly out of here. So if the more we take out and make more room, then of course, uh, as we come back with loads, we'll fill it right back up to the top. But uh, yeah, today was a good day. Um, we picked up the entirety of the field. There was a little bit left over from a field yesterday. Uh, we had some baler issues yesterday and the day before. And a six, uh, six hour round trip was made by my wife to central Wisconsin to get the part um, from Balwig Implements, a John Deere dealership in uh, Wapan. And uh, that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do to make hay. Um, the baler decided to uh, play a fast one on us. And uh, actually, it was one of the parts that I was showing you in the last video. Uh, this time it was a small uh, ejector cylinder that, that helps uh, with the kicker. So anyways, that's what happens. So the baler was put back together and we finished up yesterday and then we had a great day today. We also hired a guy today to come help, um, to help with my crew. He did a great job, takes the uh, takes a lot of the load off of me. Um, he can throw the bales. He was uh, a giant of a man at, at 19 years old or whatever he is. Um, he's a strapping young man with muscles, so always helpful and, uh, you know, helped out the gang. We were able to put up all the hay up here uh, without the use of an elevator. Uh, and that's what we like the most about this shed is, um, you know, there's plenty of airflow where when you're in up in a hay mow, um, you can't see who's on the wagon. The wagon can't see what, what you know, how, if they're putting them on too fast on the elevator or whatever. So... Here it just works out great. So, like I said, the shed is done. We're gonna move our operations. I gotta switch hands here. We're gonna move our operations to the big barn uh, for the remainder of the fields. But uh, I also wanted to show you that we had some round bales made and I covered them. <sighs> Whether you agree with it or not, that's what I did. Um, I wanna keep the water off it as long as possible. The day after I covered those rounds, we had a storm um, it rained all afternoon, all evening, all night, and in half the, the next morning, and we got about two and a quarter inches of rain, and none of it, none of it touched those rounds, so that tarp did the trick. Hey, What's up, girl? Are you gonna do it, Dad? Yes, I will charge your power wheels, kid. So, anyways, happy, happy that we've got some round bales made. That is gonna be just for my cattle. That is not gonna be for sale. Um, I had talked about doing some round bale sales, but the way haying is going this year, um, we're going to stick with selling the squares and and we're going to keep the rounds for ourselves. So, yeah, it went well today. I'm trying to think. Uh, the sun, it was a clear sky and, uh, and, and sunny, but it was hazy. Uh, and according to the news, there's a wildfire, uh, northern and western part of of Canada and that that's that uh, smoke from the wildfires is creating a haze and it's drifted down and uh, sort of this is the first day where I really really noticed that haze and it looks like that haze is going to uh, be around for a few more days um, it's working its way down and will be probably into central Wisconsin by Monday Tuesday so Anyways, we had to deal with that, um, but it didn't seem to bother the baler. Um, after those repairs were made, we had a flawless run today. I, I'm not sure that we missed a bale, so so that's what you want, and uh, it went it went well. I'll give you a shot of the shed here, and then I'm gonna. Yeah. All right, guys, just wanted to do a quick video tonight, um, show you some hay baling and uh, show you the shed, and I'll keep you posted when we do some more hay, and otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.